there is uh, no vacuum here. I mean, all this takes place within a particular context, and of course, illegal context. But it seems to me that people are also worried or concerned with ethics. And um, the law, it seems to me, and ethics um, have um, similar ambitions. I mean, they try to regulate the use of armed force on the battlefield, but they also differ, it seems to me, on crucial um, questions. Um, so, you know, is, there might be legal reasons for using autonomous weapons. Um, there might be legal reasons against using them, of course. And these legal reasons, it seems to me, can be independent to some degree from ethical reasons. So when it comes to the ethics um, of robotic weapons, what can, well, what can we say about that? I think ethically, um, I have two worries. Um, and I am trained as an ethicist, so ethics is my uh, background rather than law. So one worry I have is that we are forgetting about peace, that we're forgetting peace. And it seems to me, ethically speaking, that the use of armed force is a very extreme measure that needs to be justified. And it seems to me it can only be justified in relation to certain goods, certain things that are very valuable. Now, you know, if you ask me what sort of thing would be, what sort of good would be valuable enough to merit the use of armed force, it seems to me the only answer can really be peace. And um, I'm increasingly worried that we're using uh, robotic weapons, we're seeing it with drones, to take out threats. You're seeing it in the uh, targeted killing campaign by the US, that of course you can use these weapons, they're very precise, you know, you can strike over long distances, you can take out people whom you perceive to be threats, but of course, and that is not equivalent to building peace. So you might take out people who you know, you're viewing as threats to your security, but that doesn't mean that in doing so you automatically create the conditions um, for peace. If you look more broadly um, at current armed conflicts, it's, I, I wonder, um, especially bearing the peace perspective in mind, I wonder how useful robotic weapons are going to be in the long run. It seems to me that it's not the case that um, especially Western militaries don't have the right arsenal of high-tech weapons at their disposal in order to be able to deal with an enemy, but rather it seems to me that the real challenge for Western militaries, other militaries in the 21st century really is to stabilize societies that are experiencing conflict for one reason or another. If you look, for example, um, at the current air campaign against ISIS or Islamic State uh, in Iraq. Of course, I mean, drones are being used to conventional uh, um, fighter jets are being used in this campaign. And it seems to me a military response to ISIS is warranted to some degree, but that of course doesn't solve the problem as such. Namely, how can you get you know, a stable society, a stable social order in which people's um, basic rights um, are, are respected. So this is one ethical worry I have. The other ethical worry I have is that we are replacing human agency in war with what one could call artificial intelligence or artificial agency. And especially that we are losing sort of sight of things that might be desirable even in armed conflict, for example, pity, for example, mercy. You've been ordered to kill someone. The order might even be legal, but you look at that person, you see you're gonna kill another human being, and you might just say, well, I'm not going to do it. I can't do it. And it seems to me, you know, robot don't, robots don't ask questions. You know, machines are not going to relate to humans on the battlefield in a way that humans uh, would be able to relate to each other. So my real worry is that we're losing an important aspect of human agency here, namely the ability to sometimes put your gun down, even if it would be legally you know, legitimate for you to shoot. And I think there is something about human agency in war, which of course causes a lot of problems if you look at war crimes and so on. But there's also something about human agency that it seems to me is worth preserving. And this is why I'm ethically worried about autonomous weapons in particular.